Suppose we have the following population regression line. Now, recall that the population is assumed to be unobservable as it's infinitely large. It's too costly or time-consuming for us to go out and survey every person in the entire world. So in effect, this population regression line is unobservable. However, we can estimate the population regression line with our sample regression line. That is, we take a random sample of individuals from the population, say 50 people, and record their wages and education values and estimate the sample regression. If the sample is large enough, and if the observations are randomly selected, then the sample regression line should be a good approximation of the population regression line. This is similar to how in our previous lectures, we use the sample mean as an approximation of the population mean. The population regression is a true relationship between wages and education, whereas the sample regression is only a sample estimate of that relationship. The sample regression line is denoted as wages equals to beta hat 0 plus beta hat 1 times education. The hat on top of the betas tells us that they are estimates of the population betas. Or the sample regression line could also look like this. Here the little b's are estimates of the population betas. How the sample regression line is written depends on your textbook or your instructor's preferences. The main thing to remember is that the population regression line is not observable, as we need all observations in the entire population to calculate it. However, the population regression line is a true relationship between your dependent and independent variables. And the sample regression line is observable, as we calculate it using our sample of observations. It's used as our estimate of the population regression line. Recall from hypothesis testing that we had a population that is infinitely large, and we were interested in the population mean. However, the population mean was not observable as we could not observe the entire population. So what did we do? Well, we took a random sample from the population and calculated the sample mean. And using the sample mean, we could make estimates or inferences about the population mean. Now in terms of regressions, we cannot observe the population regression, but we can observe the sample regression. And so we have an estimate and can make inferences on the population regression line. How do we make inferences again? Good old hypothesis testing.